welcome back to the healing she got faith channel this is she got faith founder of healing she got faith and i'm just here today for another sunday um like i always say i don't want to take up too much of your time i just kind of want to talk to you for a little bit last week we talked about having another loss because we did experience the death of Chadwick Boseman. And so I just kind of just was just very honest and just let y'all know like what I was feeling and what I was going through. It just seems like um, 2020 is just nonstop. And so I kind of just wanted to speak on that and just wanted to really just focus on just embracing the losses. So that was last week, hopefully, you guys have been able to just kind of process what you're feeling, what you've been going through. I know that death is not easy to get over, regardless if we know the person, if we don't know the person. But hopefully you're able just to kind of really figure out what you're feeling and how 2020 is going and how you feel about 2020. Today, I actually wanted to talk to y'all about working. And so... I have just been seeing a lot of people with this mentality of, oh, I'll sleep when I die. Oh, I got to work all these hours. And I'll be quite honest with you all. Like, it has come to a point in my life where I'm not finna work to die. Like, one of my personal stories, which if you were with me from the beginning, you know that I launched this program in, in April, April 12th. It was the 13th year, 14th year that my father has been gone i'm having a blank but it's been a long time and so i really launched this program in his memory and stuff like that but part of my father's death story was he died at work like that man worked all the time every every day there was no off days like he would just work 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 he ended up dying at work so for me in my life that's a no-go absolutely not we will not do that. We will not work ourselves to death. We will not work ourselves until there is no more life in us. But I'm having difficulties because I see so many young people who they want to work. They want to hustle. They want to do this. And look, I'm all for it. I'm not telling you don't live out your dreams because sometimes you do got to work and you got to do your side hustle. You got to work and you got to do your passion. I completely get that. But I think we're failing to realize that self-care of taking a step back i don't know who told us that we had to work seven days a week 20 hours out the day but whoever did tell us that didn't realize that you just put us in a position to where we're just like physically and mentally killing ourselves and it's just not fair to us and so like as i'm thinking about this and just really thinking about grief like a lot of times when we grieve we have to be strong we have to do this and we have to go make money we have to go pay these bills and we have to do this and i get it like there's a much deeper conversation that goes into that like the poverty levels the systems in place and there's just so much that i could go deeper into but i don't want to take up y'all whole day like i'm really hoping i can keep this video under 10 minutes <laughs> but it's just like if you do have the opportunity to just take a step back and just really invest in who you are like why are we not learning from the previous generation to take a break but i think part of that is too is because we're often told we're lazy because we don't want to do the stuff that we watch our parents and grandparents do like i don't know about y'all but i don't want to die at work like i, I don't get me wrong I can't control that. I can't control when or how I die. But I don't want to get to the end of my life. And the only thing I got to show is that I was working. Like, I want to be able to come to the end of my life and you really be like, you know, what? she lived her best life. Like, she did what she had to do. You know, she 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 took her, her rest. She was sleeping. She took care of herself. I really want to be that person and i just really came to this conclusion that you know it's a lot of us that we work 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 and my thing is okay you working to pay these bills but if you die those bills still gonna be there okay 
And two, if you die, who gonna pay those bills? And so it's like, and I get it, there's other systems to go into it, but it's like, why do we live in a society where the struggle is glamorized? The 150 hours a week, 26 hours a day, like it's glamorized when really, we really just need to take a step back. We really can't be our best selves without rest. We really can't be our best selves without the right amount of hours of sleep and nutrition and water. So why are we so wrapped up in this work environment? So I'm honestly just here today to just kind of share that. It's just something that's been bothering me. It's something that keeps coming up. And I really just want the people in my life, I want the people around me, I want the people that I see, the people who watch us. I really just want us to really start taking care of our mind, bodies, and soul. And I really just want us to start paying attention to who we are and what we're doing. Like, I think it's phenomenal if you can do everything. And I, you know, give me some notes, send me some tips, leave, leave some tips in the comments. But also too, like, I don't want you to feel like the only thing you have to offer is working. Because you're definitely more than that. You're more than just an employee. You're more than just a CEO. You're more than just a boss. You're more than just a teacher. You're more than just a social worker. You're more than just a construction worker. You're somebody. You're somebody on this earth. And honestly, like there are people in your life that look up to you and they need you. And so I'm just here to encourage you, like, don't get so wrapped up in work that that's all you got to show for. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. That's all I got. <laughs> um it was just some thoughts on this sunday like i said i do not want to keep you all on this beautiful sunday i really hope y'all enjoy y'all sunday i hope y'all taking a rest taking a breather drinking some water getting some family time as always my loves love you the way you love the world and just have a phenomenal week i love you guys and i'll see you next sunday mm -hmm.